Welcome to this application presentation of digital image correlation being used for electronic component thermal testing. Here is an overview of the applications that will be presented in the electronic component thermal testing presentation. Such applications include the warpage measurement of semiconductors, strain measurement of solar balls from a ball grid array, coefficient of thermal expansion or CTE measurements of copper plates and solar balls, and finally, CTE and warpage measurements of an SSD drive. Application one was a warpage measurement of a semiconductor pictured here. The measurement system used for this application was a thermic DIC system. The semiconductor had a test object size of 15 millimeters by 15 millimeters, and the field of view was 20 millimeters by 20 millimeters. The measurement objective was to perform a warpage analysis at various temperature stages using a heat stage. The test criteria being that there would be no detectable pin damage along the semiconductor after 300,000 thermal load cycles. One thermal load cycle consisted of a temperature variation from room down to minus 140 degrees, then up to 175 degrees, and then back to room temperature again. The figure to the top shows the test conditions of loading cycle with respect to temperature levels in degrees Celsius versus time in hour minutes. Figure two to the right shows a 2D overlay of the visualization of displacement Z in micrometers at a temperature level with four line gauges shown here in red. Figure three to the right shows a graph of the contour shape in Z direction at each temperature level shown here for line one, which is the minus 45 degree diagonal line with respect to the position on the line gauge in micrometers. The far right figure is a graph of the displacement in Z direction at each temperature level for line one being the minus 45 degree line with respect to the position on line gauge. Application two was a strain measurement application of a solder ball of a ball grid array. The solder ball itself was approximately 350 micrometers in diameter and the field of view for the application using the stereoscopic microscope was approximately one millimeter by one millimeter. The measurement objective was to evaluate the principal or major strain and also the Z displacement in a solder ball and the change in temperature from room temperature using a vertical modified heat stage. The test conditions used for this application was from room temperature in temperature stages up to 130 degrees. In figure one to the left, the test conditions of loading cycle with temperature levels versus time can be seen. In figure two to the right is a graph of the displacement in Z direction at each temperature level for line one with respect to the position on the line gauge in micrometers. In figure three, there is a picture of the vertical heat stage used with a solder ball position inside. Figure four is an image of the solder ball within the vertical heat stage, as seen from the cameras within the stereoscopic microscope. This depicts the achievable field of view, which was approximately one by one millimeter. In figure five, we can see a 2D overlay visualization of the displacement Z in micrometers at a temperature level with one line gauge shown here and one circle gauge. In figure six, we can see the mean engineering principle or major strain given in millistrain 
over the circle gauge area with respect to temperature shown here in the horizontal. A best fit linear trend line is then plotted to determine the relationship between principal strain and temperature. Application three is a CTE measurement of a copper plate. The measurement system used for this application was a thermic DIC system. The test object size of the copper plate was 20 millimeters by 20 millimeters. The measurement objective was to evaluate the principal or major strain for a reference comparison measurement of the coefficient of thermal expansion or CTE and the changing temperature from room temperature using a heat stage. In figure one, shown above here at the top, we see the Istra 4D 2D overlay visualization of the copper plate, showing the displacement in the Z direction at 275 degrees Celsius with one polygon gauge marker. The temporal plot shown below depicts the absolute temperature with respect to the acquisition step. In figure two shown here to the left, we see the mean engineering principal str major strain, given in millistrain here, over the polygon gauge area, with respect to the temperature shown here in degrees Celsius. A linear best fit calculation of the CTE from these temperature steps can then be determined. In table one shown here to the left, we see the left and the right columns showing the measured CTE values across three measurement attempts with the average value calculated down here at the bottom of 17.66. The reference CTE according to literature is 17.7 .7 for the similar temperature range. Application four was a CTE measurement of a solder ball within a ball grid array. The measurement system used for this application was a thermic DIC system together with a stereoscopic microscope. The solder ball itself was 0.5 millimeters in diameter. The ball grid array was 25 by 25 millimeters and the measurement objective was to evaluate the principal or major strain for measurement of the coefficient of thermal expansion or CTE and the changing temperature from room temperature using a heat stage. The test conditions was to complete a temperature cycle from room temperature down to minus 150 degrees Celsius, back to room temperature again, then up to 85 degrees Celsius, and then back to room temperature. In figure one shows to the top, we see a picture of the sample positioning, showing to the left the K-type thermocouple to monitor the temperature, and to the right, the ball grid array on the heat stage. In figure two, we see the camera field of view of two solder balls, with a size indicator showing each solder ball has a size of approximately 500 micrometers. In figure three to the top, we see a picture of the thermic DIC system together with a stereoscopic microscope, including two cameras, used for the measurement application. A stereoscopic microscope is required to measure components from 0.1 millimeters to 15 millimeters in size. We can also see the heat stage used, the liquid nitrogen tank, the controller for the nitrogen tank, the controller here for the heat stage, and the data acquisition controller to synchronize measurements between the DIC system and the heat stage controller. In figure one shown here to the left, we see a 2D overlay visualization of the Lagrangian principal minus strain shown here in micro strain. The two solder balls each have one line and one circle gauge element. In figure two shown to the left, we see a 3D visualization of the Lagrangian principal minus strain of the two solder balls at a temperature level of 78 degrees Celsius. In figure three, shown here to the top, we see a close-up 2D overlay visualization, 
this time of the Lagrangian principal major strain of the two solder balls. Here we can see the measurement results from application 4. The figure here shown to the left shows the mean engineering principal major strain presented in millistrain over line 1 gauge element with respect to the temperature. A linear best fit calculation of the CTE from these temperature steps as such can be determined and the CTE was determined to be approximately 27.8 by 10 to the minus 6 per degree Kelvin. In figure 3 shown to the right we see the same graph however this is the calculation performed for the right solder ball. In this case the CTE was 27.2 by 10 to the minus 6 per degree Kelvin. Figures 2 and 3 show the thermal application module GUI for Polygon 1. This was for the left solder ball, showing in the top left the temperature step in degrees Celsius versus acquisition time. In the bottom left, we see the major strain presented in micro strain. And in the right, the linear best fit calculation of the CTE from all temperature steps within minus 45 and 83 degrees Celsius. As such, this can be determined to be 27.5 by 10 to the minus 6 per degree Kelvin. In figure 3 here shown to the left, we see the similar GUI module shown. This is however for the right solder ball. As we can see, there is agreement between each of the two CT measurements for the left and the right solder ball. Application 5 was a CTE and warpage measurement of an SSD drive. The measurement system, pictured here, is that of a thermic DIC system. The test object size was approximately 80 by 22 by 3 mm in height. The measurement objective was to evaluate the coefficient of thermal expansion and also to perform a warpage analysis of components within the SSD drive under changing temperature from room temperature using a heat stage. The test condition was to perform a load cycle from room temperature down to minus 40 degrees Celsius, back to room temperature, then up to 140 degrees Celsius, and then back to room temperature again. In figure one, we see a close-up picture of the test object within the heating stage. A thermocouple is place next to the SSD to monitor the temperature. The heating stage used for this application is 100 by 100 millimeters in size. In figures 2 and 3, shown here to the top, we see pictures of the thermic DIC system for this measurement application. Red illumination lighting is used with two cameras mounted on a motorized traverse. A liquid nitrogen tank is used to cool the heating plate. For small test objects, a gimbal mount is used to adjust and orientate the calibration target for better projection computation. A thermocouple controller, pictured here, DAQ controller, and heating stage controller are also pictured to the right. In video 1 shown here to the top, we see a 2D overlay visualization of the displacement in the Z direction presented in micrometers over the loading series of the temperature steps. We can see here the temperature recording steps of the individual measurement series. In video 2, we see a 3D visualization model of the grid contour over the loading series temperature steps. This is in the negative and positive temperature range. In figure 1 shown to the right, we see a 2D overlay visualization of the Lagrangian principle major strain shown in microstrain at a temperature level of 140 degrees Celsius. We use for this test four line gauges, which is used for the warpage analysis, and five polygon gauge elements for the CT measurement.
Here we can see the measurement results from the CTE measurement. Figures 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 each show the mean engineering principle or major strain in microstrain over the respective polygons with respect to temperature. A linear best fit calculation of the CTE from these temperature steps are shown below. Polygon 1 is out of the upper left corner, the lower left corner, the center polygon, the upper right polygon and the lower right polygon. Here we can see the warpage measurement result of the four line gauges used. Figures 1, 2, 3 and 4 show a graph of the displacement in the z direction at each temperature level shown to the right for each line with respect to the position on the line gauge in micrometers. Line 1 was the minus 45 degree line, the plus 45 degree line, the horizontal line and the vertical line. Figures 5, 6, 7 and 8 show a graph of the contour in the z direction at each temperature level of each line with respect to position on the line gauge. This is of the minus 45 degree diagonal line, the plus 45 degree diagonal line, the horizontal line and finally the vertical line. This concludes the electronic component thermal testing application presentation. If you have any questions or comments, please contact your local Dantec Dynamics sales representative or email product.support at dantecdynamics.com. Thank you.